In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy soft glam eye makeup look. Now, if you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you like tutorials like this, I might suggest hitting that subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now, let's get started in creating this super easy look. I'm actually using a new palette for this tutorial today. We're using Up Cosmetics palette quad number two. And I love this palette because it has everything that I love. A highlighter, mid-tone contour, and a fade shade. Now, if you're not sure what a fade shade is, I'll get to that in a second, but your highlighter should be at least one shade lighter than your skin tone. This one happens to have shimmer. Doesn't necessarily have to, but this one does. It also has a matte mid-tone and you always want a nice matte mid-tone. This should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And then it has a matte contour and this should be at least one shade darker than your mid-tone. So at least two shades darker than your skin tone. And then the fade shade, which is actually really hard to come across, but I love this palette included it. The fade shade is a brighter tone, which is used to kind of fade and blend out your other eyeshadows while also adding a slightly different tone, which then in turn adds a little bit more depth to the look. But I'll show you guys how to use it as we go. Now to start with, as always, we're going to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to give us a blank canvas to work on while also giving our eyeshadows something to hold on to so that they last longer. And we're going to start off with that mid-tone and we're going to use a blending brush to apply this. So this should be a small, easy to control blending brush, nothing too fluffy, just something that you can kind of softly apply with. Now my base is still kind of sticky. So if you are a real beginner, I would suggest applying a little bit of powder. If not, you can go straight in with the eyeshadow. However, you do want to make sure you're blending quite quickly so that it doesn't hold on to any areas. If it does tend to go a little bit patchy on you, apply a little bit of powder first. But I'm gonna start by applying this all over the lid and I'm keeping my hand quite low because I want to softly blend this upwards. So the lower your hand is, the higher the blend's gonna be. So I'm keeping my hand quite low, brushing this over and back across the lid, and then it's going to softly touch that crease area. And that's kind of what I want to do. I want to softly blend this upwards. So your crease area is basically where your eyelid creases into your eye shape. Some people have it more prominent than others, but it's kind of always there. And you can also fake one if you don't have one. So you want to blend this softly upwards, working up towards the brow area, but it should very softly fade out into nothing as it reaches the brows. That's the key to a mid-tone. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Next, I'm going to take my contour shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this on the outer edge to begin with. And then I'm going to bring my hand higher because the higher your hand is, the lower the blend's going to be. And we don't want to bring this contour up past our mid-tone. So to prevent that, we're going to keep our hand nice and high. And this is going to push the eyeshadows downwards as you're applying, rather than having that blend upwards past the mid-tone, which we never want to do with our contour. Mid-tone is always higher. I'm then going to take the fade shade and this time I'm using a clean blending brush. So the whole time we've been using the E26, we're now switching to the E25. So this is a clean blending brush. And we're just going to tap a little bit of that eyeshadow onto the brush and we're going to use this to very softly blend and fade out everything that we've already applied. Mostly I like to hit this across the crease area, but you can kind of apply this everywhere provided you very slowly build this up. Next, I'm going to take a super flat brush and a little bit of concealer. Make sure it's really a flat brush. And we're going to apply this over the lid. Yes, over the lid and over the eyeshadow that we already applied on that inner corner. Now you do want to make sure you've got a blend underneath there. So don't just avoid this area because we're going to apply concealer anyway. So you might as well go ahead and really apply the eyeshadow in that area. Don't worry about skipping it because the concealer will cover it up anyway. Now the point of the concealer is that it's gonna create a lighter base for our highlighter to sit on top of. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to use this to apply a little bit of that highlight over the concealed area. And this is going to brighten it, it's gonna hold onto it, it's gonna shine more. And you can also apply this underneath the brows, 
but we will end up with a little bit of a marking between the highlight and the contour and midtone. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fade shade and we're going to apply this in the center and this is going to help blend the two of them together. A little bit goes a long way and I'm using just a flat brush to do this. I'm then going to go in with a liner brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of black liner across the lash line. Lots of mascara and then some lashes. Now I did make a little bit of an oopsie and I left this in on purpose to show you guys, but as I was applying my lashes, I ended up kind of pushing down my lash line a little bit. So I ended up with a kind of a dip in my liner. This is just something to look out for. Don't worry about kind of pushing your lash line back up again. A little trick is just to apply a little bit more of that liner in that area to camouflage that little dip, but it happens all the time. It's just something to be watchful of. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm absolutely loving this palette. If you have any other suggestions of palettes you think that I should try out, definitely let me know. Be kind to yourself as always, especially this time of year, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>